Dear and beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union between this man, Albany, and this gorgeous bride, Stacy, in matrimony. This is the single highest commitment that two human beings can possibly make to each other. It is not something ever to be entered into lightly. Indeed, you are not just joining your lives together as husband and wife, but the lives of your entire families as well. Thus, if there is any person here who has any reason whatsoever to believe why these two people should not be joined together in matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Go on. Very good. Turn and face each other. Brace of hands. Do you, Manny, take this gorgeous bride, Stacy, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. Very good, sir. And likewise, ma'am, do you take this man, uh, Manny, to be your lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. I do. Very good, do we have the rings? Yes. Now the rings, as you all know, form the shape of a circle. And apart from being a whole lot easier to wear, we got something, on your left ring fingers for the rest of your lives, they form the unbroken circle of love that two human beings, especially those just like you who are getting married today, shall have for each other. And you've already got them on. <laughs> He's like, I am not letting this one go, you know? And I, I, I don't blame you, I, I wouldn't either, sir. So, all right, well, you've already got that part on. You can embrace in hands and repeat after me. With this ring, right this here. way, there you go. I be wed. I be wed. I am Annie. I am Annie. Take these, Stacy. Take these days. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to always love you. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always honor you. To always respect you. To always respect you. To always listen to you. To always listen to you. To always be patient with you. To always be patient with you. And to always be your best friend. And to always be your best friend. And lawfully wedded husband. And lawfully wedded husband. Very good. And likewise, if you would. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, then just pretend like you have one. And your rings are gorgeous. Nice. You are, by the way, but they're great. And, it, and embrace in hands and repeat after me. With this ring, or the soon to be ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. I Stacy. I Stacy. Take thee, Manny. Take thee, Manny. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to always love you. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always honor you. To always respect you. To always respect you. To always uh, listen to, to you. To always listen to you. To always be patient with you. To always be patient with you. And to always be your best friend. And to always be your best friend. And lawfully wedded wife. And be lawfully wedded wife. Very good. Now, uh, Stacy and Manny, I can tell you something. In a marriage, you can be one of two things. You can be right, or you can be married. And she's already laughing because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. But you cannot and you will not be both. For the husbands, put your gorgeous wives first. Wives, put your husbands first. Let this small stuff go. Put your egos aside. 99.9% .9 of it, it's all small stuff. There are so many things that you can choose to bicker and argue and fight and nitpick over. Sure, over a thousand and one in a day, you can try. Some people say that today, the day that you get, it, get married, that is the best and most difficult part of ever getting married. And that's partially true. I mean, it's a pretty gorgeous day. There's no rain yet, you know, great clothes, people here to love and support us. And also trying to get everybody here on time. You know, the, you know, the licenses, the cops, I mean, well, sure. But the truly best, most difficult part of ever getting married, it's not today. You know? It's the day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year of crossing that bridge together. When the going gets tough, the tough doesn't just get going, no. Divorce is so easy to do in the United States, especially in states like Oklahoma. They go and sit back down, they gather, they listen to each other, they compromise, they work it out. If you can do this, you can look back many years from now and have a very happy and successful and fulfilling marriage. Can and will you both do this? Yes. Good. Okay. A last few quick pieces of advice, I, I promise. There will be times 
if anything ever comes up that is too great for the two of you to solve together as a couple, never ever hesitate to find an outside objective ear, a minister, a counselor, someone not involved in the situation to help you. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And I tell every couple, please do that. Don't be afraid. Also, sir, there's a very old saying, and any couple just like yourself that's ever been married for very long can tell you that it's true. Happy wife, happy life. Before you do say or think a single thought in your mind, ask yourself, will this make my wife happy? And if the answer is no, don't do it. Now, I checked both of my cell phones just before we started. There has been no phone call, no text message, no pardon from, from the governor or the president. This is your last chance to back out. Do both wish to proceed? Yes, sir. Well, ma'am, by the power invested in me by the state of Oklahoma, it is my honor, my duty, and my great privilege to officially pronounce you husband and wife. Sir, you ain't, and should kiss this for the friend. Oh. Very good. So, and I present to you the happily married couple. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right. And we'll get some good. Okay, right, then. Okay, let me go. Yeah, you can do it first. Go. Oh, yeah.